All right, y'all, the information that I will be giving you in this video will be coming from three articles. I'll link them in my description. But let's talk about George Santos and his lies. All right, from ABC New York, Representative elect George Santos did, as promised, uh, share some of his story on Monday in an interview with the New York Times or New York Post, sorry, admitting that he lied about portions of his background. And when it's like, that is putting it so gently. And we're gonna get into it. Uh, while he ran for Congress, while running for Congress. Still, he vowed to take his seat in the House next week and do work on behalf of his district. He said, I'm not a criminal, and that apparently is also a lie. The lie detector determined uh, that that was a lie. Said in the interview, uh, this controversy will not deter me from having good legislative success. I will be effective. I will be good. <laughs> so Santos initially pushed back against uh, the defamatory scrutiny of his background. But now he's trying to downplay what he did, saying that, oh, well, it was just embellishing. Um, he said, I'm not going to make excuses for this, but a lot of people overstate on their resumes. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not guilty of that. So let's just talk about some of the things that he has lied about. And then we're gonna get to obviously this whole bombshell of these pictures or video pictures of him as a, a drag performer or whatever and why that's important based off of how he aligns himself uh, politically. So in 2021, he said that his grandparents died in the Holocaust. I'm getting this from Vanity Fair. Um, in 2021, <laughs> the then candidate said in a campaign video that his grandparents survived the Holocaust Several months later, speaking with the Jewish News Syndicate, he said, I'm very proud of my grandparents' story, which he claimed included fleeing Hitler. However, according to genealogist Megan Smolnik, <laughs> who spoke to CNN, uh, they said there's no sign of Jewish and or Ukrainian heritage and or no indication of name changes along the way. Meanwhile, multiple records indicate that his grandparents were born in Brazil. <laughs> so imagine lying about that kind of shit. You won't, you'll lie about anything. Now, he apparently said that his mother died in the 9-11 attacks. Santos' campaign website claimed that his mother was in her office in the South Tower on September 11, adding that she passed away a few years later when she lost her battle to cancer. Now, BC News notes that although Santos has claimed his mother was a financial executive, Public employment records show only one employer for Santos's mother, Imports by Rose, which is a company based in Queens that uh, closed in 1994. There's also the awkward matter of documents indicating she was in Brazil on the day of the 9-11 attacks. Now, he apparently lied and said that he was a volleyball star. He said that he played volleyball at and graduated from a college with degrees in economics and finance, a college uh, that he did not even attend an absolute mess. This is another one. Uh, George Santos' employment history, which, no, did not actually see him working at Goldman Sachs or Citigroup, included time at a financial firm called Harbor City, which the Securities and Exchange Commission accused of running a Ponzi scheme uh, and was later shut down. According to CNN, he insisted to a prospective investor that it was, quote, 100% legitimate, despite having reportedly been told the firm had been accused of circulating fraudulent documents. Remember, he said he wasn't a criminal. Apparently, in 2008, Santos was charged with fraud by Brazilian prosecutors for stealing the checkbook of a man his mother was working for and then spending nearly $700 using a stolen checkbook and a fake name. He admitted to this in 2009 and then in two, again in 2010. Uh, then he moved to the United States and reportedly stopped responding to authorities who didn't know his whereabouts. Prosecutors in Brazil have said that they plan to recharge him with fraud. He said he was mugged on his way to deliver some rent check um, some time ago in Queens or something like that. There's no record of this happening. He apparently screwed a homeless veteran out of getting money raised to save their like that person's dying dog. Apparently, it like apparently needed like three thousand dollars raised that shit and then just fucking disappeared. A homeless veteran's dying service dog, apparently. And what's so nasty is this uh, last one that I'll say because there's so many lies. 
Um, but apparently he lied about the Pulse shooting. In an interview with WNYC following his successful bid for Congress, Santos claimed that he lost four employees in the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. Does it not surprise you to hear that this is not actually true and that according to the Times, not one of the 49 victims appear to have worked at any of the companies Santos has worked for. Now, this is one of the kickers of this entire situation. Remember, George Santos is somebody who aligns himself with the far right. Um, he has, I mean, we talk about anti-LGBT uh, legislation that he's over here championing. We, I mean, don't say gay, Bill, all that kind of shit. And as an openly gay, right, person, like you saying all this kind of shit. So this is the kicker. This Brazilian drag performer, hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right, Eloa Rochard has said that George Santos was a drag performer. And she posted this picture and said, me with the American Republican congressman who wouldn't leave my house. <laughs> whoever, said, whoever said I was a liar, bite your tongue. So apparently, George Santos was this drag performer a while back. Apparently, he went by the name Katara, like he was trying to be somebody's waterbender or some shit. And Eloa said that she knew Santos when he was, quote, coming up, uh, quote, in the, in the drag world and said that she was a mentor to him. She described him as having an outgrown sense of grandeur and added that he lied all the time. So listen, ain't nobody mad at George for doing drag, girl. Get into your gig. <laughs> Get into your gig, sis. Make sure that wig is glued down, sis, because obviously they coming for it. <laughs> Get into your gig, ain't nobody mad. We do love drag. Now, the only thing is that you're sitting over here rubbing arms and shit with these Republicans who are empowering their constituents to go after these drag brunches, drag shows, these drag library events or whatever, while you sitting over there as an entire drag queen. Make that make some sense. That's the only time I feel comfortable dragging the shit out of you queer uh, people, queer politicians out in y'all, is when y'all try to make the lives of other queer people hell. When you try to make the lives of other queer people um, even more uncomfortable than it already is living on this planet, living in this fucking country, you deserve to get your ass dragged and exposed. Don't shade, girl. And that's it. And that's it. Now, this is the kicker to the kicker. Because this is coming from Politico. And the title of this article says, George Santos appears to admit drag queen passed in wiki post. So, I'm going to read a little bit of this because it's just, you got to, listen. A user with the name Anthony DeVolder wrote in 2011 that they won several drag pageants. Anthony DeVolder is a George Santos alias, but we gotta keep reading. Embattled Republican George Santos has claimed that reports and videos documenting him performing in drag are both outrageous and categorically false. But nearly a dozen years ago, Santos himself appears to have confirmed that he participated in drag shows while he was a teenager living in Brazil. A Wikipedia page accessed by Politico shows a user named Anthony DeVolder, a Santos alias, writing that he started his stage life at age 17 as a gay nightclub drag queen and with that, won several gay beauty pageants. Now, th listen, the wiki biography was last edited on April 29, 2011. It contains basic information that matches up with the newly sworn in congressman, including DeVolder being born on July 22, 1988, to a Brazilian family with a European background. Santos has used the name Anthony DeVolder elsewhere for online accounts. His office referred calls for comment to an outside aide who did not immediately respond. But if the person who created the Anthony DeVolder wiki bio was anyone other than Santos, it would mean someone used the same alias and the same biographical details as him a dozen years ago, all for a user page no one else would see. <laughs> Like, girl, get y'all asses out of here. Like I said, all the articles that I have read from, and I'm sure there's more, much more where that came from. 
All the articles I've read from um, will be in the description, so just check all that shit. Check all that shit for yourself, girl. <laughs> check all that shit for yourself. I think it's so bad that we have these people who are willing to just lie and say whatever, be paid by whoever, run as a gay man, run, I think that's right, he's a queer man, gay man, run as a, run for, for politics, run for Congress as a, as a queer man, just to, just to be pushing these anti-LGBT um, laws and bills and whatever, and rhetoric and whatever. They're gonna get these tap dancing ass, <laughs> that's what it is, they're gonna get these, I mean, is there such thing as a gay coon? Like, <laughs> They're gonna get these agents, these these agents, these ops, these idiots to be like, to just pay them, tell them to lie about whatever, do whatever, pay them whatever to make sure that they can go on the go and spread the rhetoric, go and spread these anti LGBT. See, a gay person is saying it. See, a gay person is defending the don't say gay bill. So let's just keep pushing. It's just like, girl, we can see right through your dumb ass. We can see right through your dumb ass. And the queer community has the right to tell your ass to sit the fuck down and get the fuck out of our faces. We do, we definitely do. How do you think that people won't be able to find out all this? I mean, you lying about being on a volleyball team. <laughs> How do you think people won't find this shit out? Like, girl, what? But George Santos said, bitch, the people elected me and I'm not getting out this seat. <laughs> That's what he said. I'm not getting out this seat so y'all can shut the fuck up. I hate it. I hate it so much. I take a little break from politics, from talking about politics, and all hell breaks loose. All hell breaks loose. I don't know what's going on. Actually, I do dumb shit. Okay? And on that note, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I definitely did while doing the research for this uh, video. Politics are an absolute mess, and they're going to continue to get worse as this country continues to get older. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Love y'all. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. You could blow me. I ain't the only. You so lonely. Insecure. They don't control me. I ain't the only. Press the holy. Worship me. Yeah, you could blow me. I ain't the only. You so lonely. Insecure. They don't control me.